Welcome. In this video, you'll learn all about the different features available with the distributed marketing add-on for marketing cloud engagement. After watching this, you'll understand how to work with QuickSend, how to work with Campaign Send, and the optional features available. For a general introduction into distributed marketing and best practice guidance on how to get started, please check out our companion video. Get started, engagement, distributed marketing overview. Let's dive in. First, let's talk about distributed marketing workflows and what it looks like at a high level. It all begins with your marketing team creating journeys and message content in marketing cloud engagement for your business users' most common use cases. This content is then made available in Salesforce using the Distributed Marketing Administration app and will use existing or custom-built sending workflows. Your business users are then able to find, optionally customize, and send these branded email and SMS messages to their customers from inside your sales, service, experience, or industry cloud org. Engagement data for the message can then be seen in Marketing Cloud Engagement and also in Salesforce if you are using Marketing Cloud Connect. The end result is your organization is able to run campaigns and communications at scale with greater alignment between marketing and business users and a more consistent customer experience. The distributed marketing workflows can be thought of in two different ways, audience first or content first. With audience first, your business user starts by identifying the recipient or recipients. Then they find, personalized, and send branded content. For example, a follow-up to a conversation or an outreach to high-value contacts only. With content first, your business user starts with an objective. Then they search for the content that fits best. And finally, they identify the recipients. For example, a quarterly newsletter or a sale promotion email. Now we understand the high level, what do the sending workflows look like in action? First, let's talk about Quick Send. A business user should use Quick Send when they want to rapidly send a one-off personalizable email or SMS to their customer that is branded, marketing approved, and trackable. For example, a follow-up after a customer meeting or a happy holidays message to a group of high-touch customers. Quick Send messages can be sent from a number of locations in Salesforce, including the lead, contact, and person account page layout or list view, a case or opportunity record, or the quick send message record. With a list view send, business users can send to between 1 and 75 recipients. If they need to send more than that, there's also a bulk quick send option on the list view or quick send message record where they can send to up to 25,000 recipients. Now let's see quick send in action by sending a personalized email to one of our contacts. First, we open the contact record we want to send to. Then we scroll over to the Quick Send Messages component and use the drop-downs to find the journey with the message we want to send. Depending on your setup, you might have to filter by business unit and message type before you can find the message you want. Once we've found the right message, we click on the pencil icon to open the message editor. We can see which areas of the message are editable and which areas aren't editable because of the pencil icon in the corner and the click to edit button that appears when we hover over the area. These editable areas are the content blocks that have been added to the email in Content Builder. Depending on the use case, an email might have several editable content blocks for images and text or no editable blocks at all. Let's click on edit and update this message. Once we're happy with our modifications, let's check how it'll appear to the contact by clicking on the preview icon. And when we're ready, we click on send to send the message. We can send right away and also have an option to schedule quick send messages or submit them for approval before sending if your organization uses manual approvals. From here, we can also add a different greeting if the personalization AMP script has been included on the email. Now let's talk about campaign sends. A business user should use campaign send when they want to send a one-off or multiple related messages to a group of customers that are branded have the option for personalization, and can be tracked against overall campaign performance. For example, an event invite sent to 500 customers with a sign-up reminder email sent five days later. These campaign messages can be sent in three ways. Segmented send. Use a segmented send when you want more control and flexibility over your audience, content, or both. Segmented sends allow you to use filters to select a subset of your target audience and then personalize messages for that subset. You can also use filters to opt certain individuals out of messaging, 
without removing them from the campaign entirely. Bulk send. Use a bulk send when you want to message large groups of individuals at once without making individual modifications. You can modify content for the entire audience, and you can review the audience before sending. However, you can't personalize messages for individuals or groups. Bulk campaign sends are optimized for speed, and they work best when your target audience is more than 1,000 individuals. Autosend. Use an autosend, also called collaborative campaigns, when you want to message large groups of individuals on a set date, but also want some individuals to receive personalized messages early. At the set date and time, all campaign members who haven't already been sent to and aren't part of a scheduled or bulk send will be sent to from the autosend campaign journey. Now, let's see campaign send in action with a segmented send to a subset of our campaign members. First, we're going to open the campaign we want to send from. We can see campaign members have already been added and we have the option to add more. We scroll over to the campaign messages component where we can see a summary of the messages that'll be included in this campaign send. This could be a single email or SMS, or it could be multiple messages. Whatever's been included in the journey in Journey Builder. Let's click on Segmented Send. From here, we can choose the campaign members we want to include in our send, and then click on Personalize to update the messages. As we can see, this is the same editor experience as Quick Send. Once we're happy with our updates, we click on Save and Close. And then all we need to do is click on Ready, and then on Submit Members to trigger our campaign send. Distributed marketing has a number of optional features and settings that can be enabled to handle more advanced use cases. Let's talk about some of the most popular now, starting with approvals. Manual approvals can be enabled for distributed marketing sends to ensure that content is always compliant and on brand. Using a Salesforce approval process powered by Salesforce Flow, sends are routed through an approving user before going out. If the message is rejected, approvers can leave rejection reasons. Approvals can always be required, or only when certain conditions apply, like audience size, or if the message is modified. Once the approval process has been created in Salesforce, your admin must enable manual approvals in the Distributed Marketing Administration app to complete the setup. Restricted words is another popular optional feature for distributed marketing. With this, you can restrict what words and expressions your business users can add to configurable parts of the message. When one of the defined words or expressions is detected in a rich or plain text area in a distributed marketing message, sending will be automatically disabled until it is removed. Distributed marketing admins can also restrict the number of messages each user can send. When a frequency cap is in place, business users will have a set number of messages they can each send over a day, week, or month. Users will be able to see the number of messages they have remaining when they go to make a send or submit a message for approval. Once they reach their cap, they won't be able to send again until the cap resets at midnight in the user's time zone. Something useful to note here, a campaign send counts as one send for each campaign member, regardless of the number of individual messages in the associated journey. Next, let's talk about content marketplaces. Distributed marketing may just have a few emails for your company, but what do you do if you have hundreds? How can you make content easy to find for your business users? This is where content marketplaces come in. Each marketplace visualizes a single quick send or campaign message list view with tile cards showing a title and description of the individual message content. Distributed marketing admins can also add images and content topics, and business users can star their favorites to make it even easier to navigate and filter the available assets. We recommend creating multiple marketplaces to showcase different groups of assets and adding the content marketplaces lightning component to pages you commonly send from like the lead record page, or even create a custom content homepage. Next, extending the entry source data. The data extension you create for distributed marketing uses a standard set of fields to populate the associated journey's entry source data extension. With the help of your Salesforce developer, you can add more fields from the lead or contact objects to the entry source data extension. These additional fields can then be used for content personalization, journey decisions, and more. Next up, Custom Personalization Interactions, also called CPI. With Custom Personalization Interactions, you can enhance distributed marketing functionality to fit your company's needs by creating external integration components and adding custom interaction tabs to your workflows. 
For example, giving business users the ability to change who the email appears to be coming from by specifying a different team member of the same group. Please note, Salesforce developer skills will also be required here. And finally, let's talk briefly about distributed marketing's integration with Experience Cloud. With distributed marketing, your partners will be able to deliver personalized marketing journeys to their customers while also keeping them aligned to your corporate brand. Partners can be given access to both quick sends and campaign sends, as well as campaign marketplace, where available campaign journeys can be displayed in a tile view. Campaigns can be grouped by theme, given a preview image and important information highlighted. Make sure to use the guided setup Distributed marketing for Experience Cloud article series when getting set up as there are some differences in the process for Experience Cloud. And that brings us to the end of this video. You should now have a solid understanding of how to send using distributed marketing and the different features available. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or visit us on the trail at trailhead.salesforce.com. Thanks for watching.